Hi YouTube viewers, uh, today I started out my XUAV Talon build and so far uh, all the control surfaces are good, all the, wing, all the wings are good, all those uh, foam parts are good, came out here in the perfect shape. Now um, what I've done is to install nylon pin the hinges on the control surfaces on the V-tail as well as on the main wing of the XUAV Talon and as of the moment I'm printing out the motor mount that will be used on this XUAV Talon I won't be using this wooden motor mount instead I have iterated uh, a few pieces of motor mounts that I intend on using and this is my prototype A, prototype B. Uh, this one is a failed prototype because uh, of jamming of the filament. But right now, um, my printer is still doing the prototype C or the third prototype of my motor mount. And hopefully, uh, that motor mount will turn out good. Uh, I have the same... Uh, M3 nuts well on the motor mount that I'm printing a bit different from this one because I don't like this portion to be protruding instead I buried it down and and keep the M3 nuts uh, flushed into the motor mount for the control surfaces I will use uh, this type of control horns instead of the stock ones because the stock one don't stock control horns don't have this uh, back plate this back plate will help increase the surface area and contact uh, for this control horn to give additional support on this control surface so basically I will be uh, cutting out this portion with the blade to pass it through here on the other side uh, to which this back plate and main control horn will be installed. Uh, I will do the same on all the other control surfaces for the V-tail and for the wings of the XAV Talon. Control horns now installed on all the control surfaces on this XAV Talon. And underside you have the control horn. Uh, mounted with a CA glue but on the other side of it you have the back plate which will restrain any movement from this control horn okay I will be using this Cobra 3520 820 kV motor uh, with the, on this XUAV talon Regarding the motor mounts, I have searched for online 3D designs for the motor mount for the XUAV Talon. However, uh, the problem is that the existing designs are not uh, perfectly fitting the Cobra motor. You see this uh, cross mount, the holes are not aligned. So, that made me or force me to design my own motor mount. I have already iterated some designs and with one plain motor mount and those that have protruding uh, wells for the nut and this final design where the nuts are flushed into the motor mount. Uh, the thickness of this motor mount is 3.3 mm and I hope it won't be a problem fitting it on the XAV talon. Okay, so on the other side of this uh, motor mount, you'll notice that the holes are aligned for this Cobra uh, cross mount plate. Okay, this is my motor by the way, this is Cobra 3520 820 kV. Perhaps uh, th this design is fitted for SK3 motors from Hobby King. Uh, I won't be using this one. And definitely I won't be using this uh, stock wooden motor mount. Mainly because of the rigidity of the wooden motor mount. 
I have glued in the M3 nuts into the wells of this 3D printed motor mount. So if you look carefully on this uh, part of the fuselage, and this motor mount will just go through the provided space or canal. So no force fitting required, it just snugs in it will hold All right so that's it okay seems to go really well even the clearances are within the tolerance okay so now time to build the other components I have printed some stuff that I will use for the uh, XAV talon and ditched out some parts that I won't be using. This one. The stock wooden skid that came with the package is not to be used but instead I printed this uh, uh, rear skid from ABS plastic again. It allows me also to extend the height let me put this down of the skid if necessary i have to print out two of these extension skids though so this will increase the height uh, comparing it to the stock height of the wooden skid this is what we got the assembly of this wooden cage for the flight controller I printed out my own uh, deck, main deck for this wooden cage. This will support a flight controller as big as the Pixhawk 2 or as small as the Vector or the Mini APM. Anyway, it can be mounted on the fuselage through this wooden cage. Uh, by the way, the wooden cage uh, did not come with a flooring just like the those that came with the mini talent package so instead i need to print my own main deck tray that can be installed i have two pieces of this um supports so it can be glued on this inside walls of the wooden cage then attach it via screw or uh zip tie With the package uh, came this type of control horns but although these control horns are good I opted not to use this but instead I bought something like this which has a back plate for mounting and securing this control horn, control horn through your control surfaces. I've already installed them on the V-tail so this is the back lid and also on the main wing I have finished assembling this wooden cage for the fuselage of the XCA Vitalon for this you can have the option of drilling out holes here and here on these four uh, points of your wooden cage and install a zip tie but I have mine to be installed on this okay so, wooden cage by gluing these support plates on the wooden cage then place my main deck tray here and either use a zip tie or screws to hold this flight controller tray So I'm dry fitting this wooden cage inside the fuselage but I haven't glued it yet so this is still removable so I'm just doing this so I can test out my uh, flight controller tray along with the pig's hook so I'm going to close this for a while now then 
dry fit the big supply controller right there it's fitted and this part and of course the big shop uh -huh. I think this tree will fall down any moment from now. So, let's see. Let's tilt it a bit so it won't fall down. Okay. So there's your pig's hook. Um, the tree is dropped by 3 millimeters. Okay. I hope that is enough or sufficient to give me the clearance that I need for this top portion of the cube uh, not to get in the way of this hatch okay so this is the hatch the canopy I will try pushing it down okay a little bit more now I have the clearance that I want okay. see so I can move the cube uh, forward or rear rewards without having any issues Hi viewers, uh, today I resumed the building of my XAB Talon and as you can see I have already glued uh, most of the wooden parts or almost all of the wooden parts on the half of this fuselage including my flight controller deck tray this reta hatch retaining plate um, the gimbal or the camera mount the wheel base support and the motor mounts and of course the landing skids and as for today um, I've been working on this removable V-tail just like what I did on the mini talon but here if you can you can see that I have added um, two support plates one on the top and one at the bottom then these are glued with my using my um, foam safe glue okay um, then I will be adding screw uh, bolter nuts here as well as here that will go through the other plate at the bottom so this will be uh, a secured connection between the two plates and holding the V-tail um, tightly in place now um, for the fuselage I will be adding a support plate here for the removable V-tail and as well as somewhere here again for the removable V-tail so if my fasteners are are done this V tail will just plug right to its to its pocket and I will secure it with uh, not a bolt bolts perhaps uh, stainless steel bolts or or nylon bolts will do two on the bottom and two two also at the top so this will be a compact system I'm, I intend on building or buying perhaps a bag or box for this XAB Talon so I can, the, I can bring it uh, anywhere easily without occupying too much space okay so I think uh, oh wait I've also glued this spar that runs through the entire length of the fuselage almost. It ends right here. So no more spar towards the motor mount. So this this spar is already glued. Uh using a foam safe glue as well as this dome. Okay. So I'm going to show you the removable V-tail mod that I made on this XAB Talon 
Um, almost the same concept that I made or done with the mini talon number two that I have posted in YouTube on my channel before. Here I also used um, plastic or nylon retaining plates both on the upper part and the lower part of the wing. I have patterned this um, removable V-tail mod on Aeromapper Talon uh, from which they used stand-ups instead of screws to hold uh, this V-tail in its place. So right now um, I'm going to show you uh, how easy it is to attach and remove the V-tail I'm sorry from the fuselage uh, for a plane this big um, I think this modification is uh, reasonable enough because most of the time if you're going to travel with this big plane uh, you would want it to be as compact as possible uh, on a mini talon it could be an optional thing to do but on a big talon like this one removing the, the V-tail as well as the uh, main wing will really save a lot of space so here it is I removed the V-tail from the fuselage and inside the fuselage I have uh, also these stand-ups buried inside the foam of the fuselage and at the end part I have added a nylon retaining plate again with nuts uh, glued on the plate to secure this stand up from moving so uh, just one bit warning when you're using the nylon stand up be be careful when tightening these components because uh, sooner or later you may be ripping off the threads on the nylon stand-ups or on this uh, component too so just be careful uh, you can use brass or aluminum stand-ups then use your typical stainless or galvanized screws M3 screws but here I opted for the nylon stand-ups to hold um, the V-tail in its place uh, one thing instead of burying stand off into this V tail, sorry, I opted to use this galvanized uh, bolt or screw to pass through from top plate to bottom plate, then added this uh, nylon nuts to hold the bolt uh, inside the V tail. This is optional but um, I just want to make sure that this nylon plate won't be moving or won't be detached while in flight. So it's just a lock for this V-tail and this retaining plate. Okay, so uh, what's next? I'm going to add the servos on the V-tail. Then lay out all the electronics here. The Pixhawk 2, the GPS will be somewhere here. In this section the RX antenna will go through here which is a dragon link uh, micro receiver dipole antenna here passing through from this top portion up to the lower section of this fin and up in front I will be cutting off a hole for this uh, mapping camera I will be printing out the the holder or the mounting for the camera. Uh, uh, Python tube will run through here and a VTX will be hanging here. I will be printing out or perhaps maybe a wooden mount will do for the video transmitter. Uh, the antenna for the video transmitter will be poking here outside the fuselage. So this will be extended uh, outside this wall. Uh, by the way, the antenna is a Dragon Link dipole, so it intend it is intended to be installed in a vertical position. I printed this nose canopy 
um, as a replacement for the stock clear dome so it fits right here on the stock carbon fiber spar uh, I've added a few dab of hot glue just to ensure that this pad won't uh, be removed while in flight okay so let me just install it for a while See? snaps through the pod and what else inside I've added this line of velcro tapes for the for the battery for the lipo box but, and also here you can see I added the pix hook pix hook too and all its electronics inside the ESC here is mounted underneath the flight controller by the way the ESC is a uh, having fly fan 60 amps with 5 volt 3 amp back okay. this is secured by a velcro tape also inside the fuselage and here I have here the Dragon Link micro receiver one of the best PHF system but comes with the price of course and inside I don't know if you can see it but there's the GPS I mounted the GPS on popsicle sticks with the popsicle sticks so it is right below this part of this uh, fuselage uh -huh. and back here of course this is the nylon stand-ups for the removable V-tail and the dragon link dipole so this dipole extends from this portion above oops sorry down here in the lower fin of the fuselage uh, by the way I also added a, some pieces of popsicle sticks inside the fuselage for mounting the VTX I'm planning on installing the 1.3 GHz video transmitter uh, which I bought from ReadyMade RC inside the fuselage on, the, on that popsicle stick or if I will be using the dome but if I will be using this 3D printed pad then perhaps I can just uh, install the VTX here using a velcro tape and back here as you can see the, the motor is installed on this 3D printed motor plate which I designed I uploaded the design the design at thingiverse.com uh, by the way the motor is at 3520 820 kV Cobra motor so this is a good motor but again uh, not quite cheap but this should give you a lot of fun I added a strip of fiber tape down here to protect the fuselage also extending the tape along this part of the bottom of the fuse um, up here we have here a 3d printed landing skid which I also designed using Auto, uh, Autodesk Fusion 360 uh, this is a landing skid that will protect the bottom during landing as well as the front during hard impacts so I have here a, a small arc that will absorb or, or distribute the impact before it passes the load on this main portion of the front skid okay. so the the hatch of this XAB talon is almost completely stuck except for this uh, nylon protrusions that I glued into this hatch so I can just slip it on here I punctured the hole two holes for this 
uh, nylon protrusions then we'll just uh, screw one portion of this hatch so it will be secured while in flight uh, knowing that there are two two locking segments here and of course your one removable screw for securing this hatch in this place okay this is designed for 3dr um, airspeed sensor by the tube so it fits uh, literally here the entire uh, assembly of the pilot and the tube runs through this piece of aerodynamic um, mounting which is uh, really good to efficiently reduce drag so I mounted it on the side of the fuselage but a bit higher than my previous setups on the on the mini talon and all other set all other planes that I have built before so that's this is on the upper part of the fuselage and it runs a bit um, inclined upwards um, this will protect the pointer tube from getting uh, dirt or getting through the, the bushes if I land on um, grass or bushy areas. Uh, the, v, the VTX or the video transmitter is temporarily mounted on this uh, canopy, uh, nose canopy. So I will be placing the uh, FPV camera here. I'm thinking of using the Rancam HD for um, as FPV and HD camera uh, for now. But if I will be switching to um, to the clear dome here, I will be using the GoPro camera instead. Okay. So here I haven't installed yet the airspeed sensor it will be mounted here on the side of the fuselage uh, right next to the VTX where it is supposed to be installed okay. the lipos I'm using here the Ternogy Multistar 6600 mAh 4 cell lipo pack in parallel so I, I'm using here a parallel connector for XT60 